Okay, we left uh, Hiroshima this morning. Um, I didn't really vlog a lot there, but it was really impressive and the hotel was beautiful, so I'm sure there'll some, be some clips of that. But we took the train to the Shinkansen to Kyoto, so, oh, I'm a little bit overlighted. We are in Kyoto right now and it's pouring rain, so um, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. And we're gonna visit the temple for sure. Um, and all the tea ceremonies are full for today. But we're gonna visit a temple and go look for some food. That's it. I'm just packed in my sweater and my coat. Okay, bye. Having my umbrella. Okay. So this is sacred water and you uh, get a really long stick and then you get the water as you can see and then pour it over your left hand then pour it over your right hand and then drink a little bit for the water so. so these steps are really slippery because it is raining um and somebody already fell and the ambulance had to come so that was kind of rough but ambulances do come in these streets so that's kind of cool Are you kidding me? This is a Starbucks. This is insane. That is no entry, so we're gonna have to look around. But that's crazy. A Starbucks. For the green tea, you can tap your own hot water and then put um, powder in it. And then you can have as much green tea as you want. Waffles smelled really good, and then we discovered it was from Monica, which is from Belgium. And um, it's a matcha waffle, so we're gonna try. So, I remember vlogging yesterday about being careful on the steps um, because someone slipped and the ambulance had to come. Um, so, my dad told me this morning at breakfast that in the um, travel guide it says that if you fall there, you get three years of bad luck. Three years, so that girl's gonna get three years of bad luck, which is uh, quite something. Yeah, so that's the funny story of today. <laughs> What's the temple called? The narrow fish. AKA the red gate. <laughs> some cute little deer all, right. all around town trying to get your cookies okay Kyoto area. It's our third day in the Kyoto area and it is gorgeous. 
I love Kyoto so far, but okay. Um, we're currently at the train station and um, we're headed to the bamboo forest and start our day there. And then we'll see, I'm really excited for the bamboo forest. Like those two things are really on my list, like the big red gates and uh, the bamboo forest. So I'm really excited for today. Are you excited? Oh yeah, very much, always. <laughs> okay, let's head out. Me very excited, we're going to see monkeys, I think. taking a path down to go to the river and it's so pretty and we just saw the bamboo forest and right now we're walking back to the station uh, pretty carefully and then we're getting some green tea stuff and oh, Kyoto is just so pretty some more okay you kind of have to watch out where you walk though but um it's down at the river and there's supposed to be monkeys here but I'm not the biggest Oh, they're having a boat. Okay, they're supposed to be having <laughs> monkeys here, and I'm not the biggest fan of monkeys, but um, we'll see. Look, it's baby bamboo. Okay, we came from the bamboo forest and then took the train and then a taxi to leave this like more temple complex where they have beautiful gardens. I'll look up the name in a second because I'm not that great with names. I've seen this vacation, but okay. Um, so we tried a matcha cotton candy and matcha drink and a matcha macaron thing and it was so good and now we're gonna explore here we just went to the Dyson in um, temple it's a, kind of a zen garden and you can drink tea there and a really nice old lady um, makes your tea and it's a little tea ceremony so so I really recommend going there because it was so nice and um, even though she didn't really speak English she explained it to you a little bit like how to do it and it was really pretty and there was like this monk person and it was just really good to go to if you don't want like so many tourists but you do want to like see a zen garden and do a small tea ceremony so really recommend that The philosopher's route from one point to another down next to a river. It's really pretty. The sun is setting behind the mountains right now. And we're gonna find a place to eat, as always, because we love eating in Japan. <laughs> Lol. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit sunburnt, which is funny because I got sunburned here the first couple days and I'm sunburnt here. So I guess I don't learn from my mistakes. Okay. <laughs> 